Hey guys. <laughs> Alright, we still don't have a name for our friend. We will soon. I think tomorrow we should have it all. Well, I mean, by the time this video is up, it'll, we'll have a name, but yeah. we don't. We're, we're filming this way ahead of time. Today, we would like to talk about being vegetarian. We're both vegetarian. I started being vegetarian in late July of this year. I started being vegetarian like mid August. James was trying to like convince me, and I was yeah. like, no, I don't want to be vegetarian. <laughs> My family eats a lot of meat, and I've always loved meat, so I was like, okay, no, I don't want to do that. Same. <laughs> I don't know, we both have like our reasons for trying it out. I just felt that, like I know that being vegetarian is super good for the environment and one of the leading causes of global warming is actually raising cows and chickens, lambs, stuff like that. And it actually produces about 18% of greenhouse gases, which is more than all transport from planes, cars, trains, etc. combined. There's a lot of healthier things than eating meats. Like you can still get your proteins from so many other foods. Nuts and there's spinach and there's eggs and all these other things. It can just help you have a healthier diet. So I decided, what's the point of me eating meat if I can get all my nutrition from other places? I've never been a kid that likes going to the zoo. I just hate seeing animals like miserable and stuff. And I really do love animals. So like why would I want to be consuming them? And like knowing that people are just raising them in these tiny little areas so that they can just be killed and eaten. I just never found that right, so I thought that it would be a good move for me to try being vegetarian. On the point of health, a lot of people think that being vegetarian will give you like a lot less energy and will make you sometimes more lethargic, but I actually found that within the first couple weeks of being vegetarian, I actually had a lot more energy. Yeah. I felt a lot stronger. A lot of people think that being vegetarian means that you can eat a lot of junk food because you're being healthy, but that will not help. That no. will make you a lot more unhealthy. And though. like, I've had a lot of problems with it. Like, my parents are always getting mad at me because I'm not getting enough nutrition, but I, I am working towards it. I think the thing is, I need to learn to be able to make my own meals now because my family isn't vegetarian. And also just like a struggle that I've had. I just kind of jumped into this, right? I didn't really have, like, I kind of had you doing it with me, but it's yeah. not like we live together. It's not like we're cooking meals together. I have to try to come up with things for myself. I've been working at a fish restaurant for a while. I'm not pescatarian. Pescatarian is when you don't eat meat but like you just eat fish even though fish is meat. Yeah fish is technically meat. There are some legitimate reasons for being pescatarian. I'm pescatarian because fish has a lot of protein in it so if you find it hard to get protein from nuts, eggs, milk, etc. Fish is a good option. Mm -hmm. On the moral side of things, there have been studies that show that fish aren't capable of actually suffering the way that we understand suffering and that they don't feel pain the same way because they just don't have the mental capacity to. On the... Are you joking? <laughs> Hello? Um, I don't think she is, but I'll check. Back to eating fish. I'm breath from running around the house. On the environmental side of things, in Canada, we had some issues with overfishing in the past and that hurt the environment, but thanks to that, we have now laws in place that prevent overfishing. So in Canada, it's not as much of an issue to eat fish and worry about the environment, if that makes sense. Yeah, I may become pescatarian later on, but like, I've just been going no meat so far, and I'm just kind of thinking, why not just go the extra mile and not eat fish as long as I'm not having health issues and stuff, but later on I, I may go that route. There's different types of being vegetarian. Right, yeah. Strict vegetarian is also known as vegan. It means that you don't eat any animal flesh or byproducts. What we commonly know as vegetarian is technically called lacto-ovo vegetarianism, which means that you... Yeah, that's what I am. Yeah, that means that's the, yeah, the most common type of vegetarianism. Right. It's People that don't eat any animal flesh, including fish, they do consume milk and eggs. egg products. Yeah. Semi-vegetarianism, which is usually they'll choose a type of meat that they will eat. Like poultry isn't as much of an issue in most cases mm -hmm. as beef is, so yeah. a lot of people will like, decide- Like don't eat red meat. Right. Also for the environmental issue, you're not taking up as much land to raise chickens and turkeys and stuff like that as you are to raise cows. Yeah, right. Cows, cows are huge and they take up a right. lot of space. And they take up a lot of time to be raised. Like, you could be raising a cow for 14 years for a steak. We have a guest. <laughs> <laughs> the space that they 
do take up could be taken up by raising crops. These crops take a lot less time to grow as well as like live animals do, like yeah. cows. Um, they can feed a lot more people. In the space that it takes to raise one cow, you can grow a lot more corn and feed a lot more people and that would be a step in the right direction to solving our food crises. Yeah, for sure. So just uh, solving like... <laughs> yeah, so it could be like just you cutting down on the amount of meat that you are eating could help feed so many more people. So really it's just morally, I think it's the right thing right, to do. Yeah. So those are just kind of the reasons that maybe you should consider going vegetarian or semi-vegetarian. Yeah, or at least just cutting down some of the meat that you eat. Even if each of us just cut down how much meat we eat by like a quarter, then that would pretty much be the same as like 25% like of, of the world, world becoming completely vegetarian. So that would just make like a super substantial difference. That's another reason. Um, my family, they do eat a lot of meat. They've kind of decided that we're going to do like a meatless Monday. So every Monday for dinner, we just we have a vegetarian meal and that saves us money. And so that's not quite a quarter, that's like a seven. Yeah, like if, if everybody had a meatless Monday, then basically it would be the same as a seventh of the world being yeah, vegetarian. Yeah, and that small difference in your life makes a huge difference right. everywhere else. You gotta start small and then Yeah, like grow. It's, it's no secret that like there's issues in the world and everybody wants to make a difference, but nobody really knows what to do. Right. Like this is a small thing that you can do that will make a big difference. And it's not that hard to do and it will benefit you. For sure. We've left a link in the description if you'd like to read more about the environmental benefits of becoming vegetarian. I think Samara found an article about the personal benefits if you'd like to read up on that. Yeah. So we'll leave those both in the description. Yeah. And definitely just consider looking into it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe yeah. as usual. Do that. <laughs> don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat if you want. Like, I, I don't know why you would want that, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay fine. bye. Bye.